Good morning, everybody. It is time for the Orthopedic Minute with our friends from D. Moss. And joining us in studio right now, Michelle, is Dr. Lee Evans. Uh, he is a, a doctor of podiatric medicine. Yes. Okay, how about that? It's so a even... mouthful. Yeah. Everything we're talking about this morning is a mouthful, and we're going to leave it up to you. It's all foot. <laughs> so, yeah. so you're so a foot doctor. It yeah, it's all foot. It's, yeah. it's all feet yeah. all the time. All feet all Now, we're going to talk about something. Um, Halix limitus. Michelle, you knew what that was right off or the bat. chronic turf toe he was yeah. talking. Yeah. I thought that sounds like something we don't want, but. Yeah, easier <laughs> now, to remember. Chronic turf toe. Let, let's explain what this is because it sounds like something that would be, and I'm not joking, a lot of people thought, oh, is that something the kickers in the NFL get? But no, this is something else that this is, happens to regular people, right? Sure, we see it uh, probably from 18 on up, men and women both. And what is the definition of this? Sort of a chronic degenerative joint disease of the big toe joint. There's a lot of force that goes through the big toe. Of the big toe. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we have a, you have a little model here. Want to want to show what we have? We have a little model of the implant that we actually put in for th that's new on the market. And okay. that's why I'm here to talk about that today. Chronically, if you had arthritis in your big toe joint, you'd probably require a fusion at some point. But some people don't want their big toe fused. Okay. People that wear high-heeled shoes, if you would like to go out and run a lot, that's, that's a difficult Because that problem. makes it a solid bone. It's then. a solid bone at that point. And so, like, if you wanted to wear a high-heeled a high shoe, like an in-shoe or something like that, that would be difficult. Wow, I never even thought about that. Yeah, so this is an alternative to There's a lot that goes on with our big toe. Talk a lot about of just force. The, uh, a lot of force through the big toe, you know, and it bears probably 25% of the weight to the front of the foot. Yeah. Yeah, didn't realize that. So what causes this? What causes <laughs> the, the, the joint to break down like Some this? of it's genetic. You know, the shape of your bone is genetic. And some people's shape of their bone leads to arthritis. Sometimes it's activity. It's a shoe gear that we wear, those types of things. All right. And yeah. the, the best type of shoe gear that, that you think is, uh, is important to people? Because really, uh, quality shoes really make a difference. I think the real issue is that uh, some people think you need a softer, flimsier, more comforting shoe. I, I think it's just the opposite. I think you need a stiff-soled shoe. The toe bends less, gives you more support through the arch. Okay, so just some of the things to keep in mind. And uh, what can we do if we realize that there's something going on uh, with our toe? Now, where's the pain uh, when we're, we're talking about this, uh, the turf toe? It's going to be centered right in the big toe joint where the big toe moves. Okay. And it's usually going to be on top. And on top? Yep, and, and over time you'll start to experience some of these bone spurs, you'll feel fullness there, you'll see swelling there over time. It's almost okay. always on top. Wow. Will you, will it hurt to, to walk and so forth? What are some of those things that Sir, people feel? Achiness with they? walking related okay. activities, you, you'll find that if your foot is in a little bit of a heel that you're going to be a little more uncomfortable at the end of the day. You probably have more, have more weight on it. Then, yeah, right? and you're going to notice a limited motion over time too. You know, so it's going to get stiff over time. Right. Yeah. Are there things we can do to help kind of prevent this or keep it at bay? Um, <coughs> we put people in stiff-soled shoes. We put people in arch supports. Uh, we try to stay away from flip-flops and sandals as much as possible. Of course, right. it's easy this time of year, but right. Yeah. Let, let's talk about shoes for a minute because that does make a big difference. And when we're shoes and high heels and so forth, there may be things that we could look out for to kind of keep our feet in good health. Sure. You know, you want a good construct to your shoe. You want a nice stiff sole. Like I said, you want a good arch support. Mm -hmm. You want a good upper. You know, laces are better than slip-ons. It gives you a little more control of the upper part of the foot. Mm -hmm. Just to keep the foot stable. Yes. That is correct. really good. So now, what do you try to do to, to alleviate some of the pain? Is there a medication that we can take for it? Sure. Uh, we, we have the shoes. That's the first thing you want to try first, right? Yeah. yeah most people have tried maybe an anti-inflammatory like an ibuprofen or a Motrin or something like that. When they get to our office, which we're usually, we're usually doing orthotics or cortisone injection in the, in the joint. Okay, now taking the the uh, like the oral medications for that, that can only work for so long. Can sure, it? and there's a certain amount of side effects from taking those medications long term, and so you really don't want to take those long term if you don't want, if you don't need okay, to. Okay, so yeah. you, you change your shoes, you, you've tried the over-the-counter medicines or, or even the, the prescribed medicines, uh, you had your cortisone shots and still nothing's working and you're still in, in agony, sure. what's the other option? So typically we would do what's called a chylectomy, which is a joint cleanup procedure, much like if you had your knee scoped. You okay. go and you clean it up. But some people's arth arthritic condition or their cartilage, and I think you have an image to show. Okay, but yeah, and is this the image we want to make sure we warn yes. people? Okay, this, before we show this, I just want to let you know, if you're a little squeamish, uh, you know, close one eye. Um, because, but we have to show this. We want to show this so you see what exactly it looked like before and what it looked like after. Now, take a look. Explain the before picture. So on the, on, the, on the left side, if you, if you go and you clean that joint up and the articular cartilage is missing, then you know you're going to have to do something to destroy the joint because the joint's no good anymore. Oh, so, really? So you're either going to have to fuse it. We put those two bones together, put a plate over it, and that keeps it from moving, and that eliminates your pain. But if you want a toe that still moves, you need an alternative. And in this case, 
we do a partial joint replacement with what's called Cartiva. Cartiva, and that's what you have here. Let's hold this yep. up so you guys can see this. I'm going to hold this here still so you can take a look at this. I want you to explain how this goes, because it looks like it's going into the bone. You have a uh, like an acrylic big toe here, uh, uh -huh. which, uh, you know, what, do they, what do they call this bone? Is that, a, is that a, still a phalange? Yeah, well, the phalange would be the toe. This is the metatarsal. Metatarsal, okay, the metatarsal. It looks like so, it goes into the metatarsal. Correct. So we take the area where the cartilage is missing, and we drill that out, and then we put the Cartiva in there, and it's kind of like the candy dot, if you ever eat it. Uh, yeah. The movie theater, that's kind of what they look like. So you slide it in, and it, does it expand when it's it gets press in there? Fit. It it's press, press fit. fit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it doesn't move after So it keeps it in. stable. But it still has a little bit of motion on it. Yeah, and it gives you a, 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 an artificial smooth surface for the toe to move against, so you're not wow. moving against raw bone. And what kind of downtime do we have with something like uh, this? Very little. You can walk on it afterwards, with stitches in for two to three weeks, and then back into regular shoes. So this is kind of an outpatient procedure. It is. It's in and out same day. And then, does how, is this long lasting? Is this kind of one that's and a, done? That's, that's a great that? question. You know, it's been the European study has been around for about ten years. It's uh, new to the United States, probably within the last three or four years. Okay. So far, we've had real good luck with it. The that is great. Yeah. Awesome. Now, people wanted what maybe some people are experiencing this pain. You didn't know what that pain was, and you need to do something about it. Uh, what's the easiest way to get a hold of you? Guys? Uh, just call us directly at DMOS at 224 1414. Okay, and what office are you located at? I'm at the West Point office. Wonderful. Yeah. Great stuff. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, trying to uh, need eliminate. To take care of our feet. <laughs> Alex Limitus. Yes. Okay, or chronic turf toe, uh, it does happen, arthritis uh, in your foot. Is that the most common form of arthritis in the foot? Probably in the big, in the four part of the foot, yes. In the four part of the foot. Yeah. All right, yeah. wonderful. You guys are awesome, and we, we learned something today. Yeah. That always. is really cool. We always, always, learn, always something learn something when you guys come in. Yeah, very cool. Very uh, Dr. Lee, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having thank me. Thank you I so appreciate much. it. Appreciate yeah. it.